Hi guys, I'm Ron Howard. I want to take a break from directing for a minute and do something that I've never done before. And that's talk about this election that we've got coming up. This is really an important one, America. Because for the last eight years, our country has been going down a divisive and wrong-headed path, which is why it is so crucial that we vote for change. And I'm talking about real change, the kind of change that will allow us to trust our government again, which is why I've chosen to vote for Barack Obama. And I say that not as a Democrat or a Republican, because I have voted for candidates from both parties in the past, and I probably will again. So, as some of you might remember, I began my career as an actor, but over the last 25 years, I've worked hard to establish myself as a respected director and even a serious filmmaker. So as I said, I've never done this before and I hope never to do it again, but I guess you could say I'm feeling pretty desperate these days. So, as a demonstration of my sincerity, this is for you, America. Hey, Paul. Hey, O. You look like you got something on your mind, son. Paul, why are people so set on staying on the same road that's been messing us up for so long? Well, O, people are funny. Sometimes change scares them. And they'd rather keep doing the same old thing that's been messing them up than change to the thing that could help them. Like the time I wanted to fish for lake trout using peanut butter and jelly as bait? That's right, O. You got stubborn and wouldn't switch no matter what I said. When I'm a grown-up, I sure would like to vote for somebody as good as Mr. Obama. Well, if you stay healthy and strong, avoid any felonies, and stay away from the butterfly ballot, I bet you'll get a chance. Okay, I've just acted like an eight-year-old kid from a 40-year-old television show. Please don't let this be in vain. But I know a lot of you are thinking that I'm just following some liberal Hollywood trend. That's not me. And besides, if I was anything less than sincere, would I do this? 9, 10, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, a rock, we're going to rock. Around the clock tonight, break the glass back. Hey, Cunningham, finish your homework. Sure, Fonz. Hey, how did your date go with the Rodriguez twins? Triplets. And then can they sauce it? <laughs> ah, gee, Fonz, I sure hope our country gets itself back on track. You know, I'll tell you something. Eight years ago, I thought to myself, okay, we got these presidents, United States, Cheney Bush. We should give him a shot. Was I rude? I was so rude. You were wrong, Fonz? Okay, that's the word. But see, now we can make it right, right? And after we vote, you want a couple things? <laughs> yeah, my friend Janet Patowski. She's got this girlfriend from uh, uh, Alaska. You mean the girl who shoots moose? Wait a minute. Shoots moose? I thought she said she was loose. We haven't done those characters in decades, but the three of us agree that with Barack Obama, we Americans have a rare opportunity to elect an extraordinary president. Andy, Henry, and I love our country, and we just hope that we could earn an extra five minutes of your time to really think through this important election. Register and vote with your heart, your mind, and with courage and vision. That's all I have.